If you are aiming for a business analyst or operations analyst role, this is a classic first round assignment. You will be given a multi-sheet Excel file and asked to pull insights from it in 30 minutes. In this video, we will explore the data set through four practical questions and think through the business impact, the kind of strategic thinking that makes your analysis stand out. Here is the Excel file we will work with. It has five sheets, customer data, which includes customer ID, region, registration date, orders. It has order value, delivery fee, tip amount and delivery time, delivery details, which include delivery partner ID, customer rating, delivery time and distance, restaurant data, which includes restaurant name, cuisine type and average rating and finally the four questions this data set is bit simplified but the structure is based on real excel test assignments often seen in analyst interviews let's walk through each question and approach it like a business analyst uncovering what the data actually reveals and what action a business team can take and if you would like to challenge yourself i recommend pausing the video at each question trying to solve it before my walkthrough Let's jump into the first one. First question, what is the average delivery time across different regions and where are we lagging? To solve this, we need to pull in the region information from customer data sheet to orders sheet. We can do this using XLOOKUP. So XLOOKUP, a lookup value will be customer ID because it is unique ID and it is present in both the sheets, customer data sheet and the order sheet, our lookup array will be this our return array will be the region array F4. press enter now we can drag selecting all the rows and control D let's format using control C and all D ST now let's create a pivot table with region in rows and average of delivery time in values for that you can go to insert you can use pivot table directly or you can use recommended pivot tables let's select recommended pivot tables and you can see the first recommendation itself is close to what we want so let's just click that and okay so here we have region and we have sum of delivery time but we want average of delivery time so we need to right click on this and summarize values by average let's just change the formatting control one decimal value one and okay to sort this table select any number cell and right click on it sort largest to smallest we can already see that west region stands out average delivery time is 41.2 minutes and others are between 30 to 32 Let's just clean up the table. Instead of row labels, let's name it regions. Instead of grand total, what we can write is across regions. So that it says across regions, what's the average of delivery time. Now, once you submit this Excel file, your interviewer might ask, West region has much slower deliveries. Can you think of potential reasons and suggest next steps to investigate further? I'll tell you one way to think about it and structure your response. So for potential drivers, one reason could be delays at a few specific restaurant or second, it could be because of low rider availability in this region or it could be because of inefficient delivery routing patterns. And for next step to understand if any of these potential reasons are actually causing the delay, we need to further deep dive to understand if only a few restaurants are responsible, we need to explore the rider assignment logic for this region and also the delivery routing patterns for this region. Now it's your turn. What else do you think might be driving this and what would you test next? Share in the comments and let's learn from each other. Moving on to the next question. Question number two, which restaurants are underperforming in terms of order average value? So for that, let's go to the order sheet again because in the order sheet, we have restaurant name and we have order value. Create a pivot table, go to insert. This time, let's create it from scratch. So pivot table. Okay. And our rows would be restaurant name. Our values would be order value. Right click on some of order value to change it to average. And click on any cell to sort it from largest to smallest. 
do the number formatting. Control 1, 1, 1, ok. Let's clean up the table, change the row labels to restaurant name and grand total to across restaurants. From the table we can see restaurant 2 has the highest average order value of 467 rupees which is well above the average order value across the restaurant of 387 rupees. Meanwhile restaurant 4 has the smallest average order value of 350. So how would you frame this in an interview? We can start from our observation from the table saying there is a significant variation in average order value across restaurants and the potential drivers for restaurant 2 and 8 having higher average order value could be better pricing, high value combos, better menu structuring or they are running local promotion and as a next step we can recommend analyzing restaurant 2's menu and pricing strategy and see if we can replicate the successful elements across lower performers like restaurant 9 and 4 to drive our average order value across restaurants. What else would you test here? Let's hear your ideas in the comments. Next question. Question 3. Is there any relationship between delivery time and customer tip amount? To see that let's move on to order sheet. Column E is delivery time and column H is tip amount. Select both the columns and go to insert and plot a scatter plot. Move this scatter plot to a next sheet and name it response to Q3. So we have all the responses in separate sheets. Now to understand or see if there is any relationship between tip amount and delivery time, click on any of the data points and add trend line. In your right you will see a panel opening up Select display equation on chart and display R square value on chart. R square is a correlation coefficient which represents relationship between two data. Generally R square of greater than 0.7 indicates a strong correlation between the variables. But in our case it's 0 0.008 meaning almost no relationship. And interestingly from the chart itself you can see customers who have received their orders between 20 to 30 minutes roughly tipped the same as those who waited 50 to 60 minutes. So here interviewer can ask if speed is not driving tips what can drive the tip to the delivery partners? Could it be rider behavior, cuisine type, order size? It's your turn let me know what you would test next in the comments. Moving on to the last question. Question number 4. What percentage of orders were delivered in under 30 minutes? For this we need to go back to order sheet again and we can see there is a column E which is delivery time which is delivery time and to calculate how many orders are delivered under 30 minutes we can use countif function. Let's create a new sheet and name it response to Q4. Number of orders under 30 minutes is equal to count if our range will be delivery time and our criteria will be less than equal to 30 enter. So we have 75 orders under 30 minutes. Let's calculate number of total orders. For that we will use count function and count of the delivery time range. To number of total orders is 150. Let's calculate percentage of orders under 30 minutes is equals to C2 by C3, 50%. So that means 50% of our orders are still taking longer. Here the interviewer can ask you to suggest some initiatives to improve this number 
from 50% to 90% or 80%? So comment down how would you answer this question in your interview. So these were the actual four questions taken from a real business analyst case interview. Here you might have noticed that though we were given multiple sheets, but for solving our questions, we have just used two sheets. And this will happen with you as well in your case studies where you will be given dump of data. But actually to solve your question, it might happen that you may have to figure out which sheets are actually helpful. So don't panic. Just try to figure out which sheets are actually required for solving the question and which sheets are there to just confuse you. As we saw, you should not stop just doing the math. But what sets you apart is doing the analysis and then thinking. You have to think what was the goal, what is really happening, what might be causing the gap and what's the next step that I would recommend. If you keep practicing this habit of layering business thinking over data work, you will stand out every time. Now comment below with your thoughts on Q3 and Q4. I would love to see what you will test. Like the video if this helped. Subscribe and share with your friend who is preparing for an interview. Thank you.